On our stretch, what we're trying to get is we are trying to set the first down block that we can and set an edge. In this play, what we are doing is we are trying to get the down block here on a three tech. So we're truthfully trying to set the edge on the defense at that point and take them to where we will stretch them all the way from here to the sideline. At that point, what becomes important then is our tight end now knows it doesn't matter if he reaches that defensive end, it doesn't matter if the defensive end is outside, we want just contact on that, on that defensive end. We tell our tight end, basically, never sacrifice uh, contact for position. So he's going to get physical on him, understanding this play is going to take a little bit to develop. Inside, we are looking to get two pullers. We know if we're getting a down block by the tackle, it's going to be the play side guard is going to be our first puller. As he is pulling, he's going to either turn up inside on that play side linebacker or he'll go outside based upon what's happening with the defensive end. If that defensive end is stretching to the outside, he's just simply going to turn inside of him. If the defensive end is playing an inside shade where he's more control of the C gap, we should be able to get him reached. He'll turn to the outside of him. Inside, we will let either the center be the puller or the backside guard. They communicate that based upon what this nose guard has been doing. If this nose guard is playing heavy on the center, we many times will keep the center blocking him. We'll pull the backside guard. If we believe we can get him reached and cut off with the backside guard, we want to pull the center. So our second puller comes from the center or the backside guard as we start running this play. One other coaching point is for that backside tackle. If he's got a vacated area down inside, he's going to start zoning inside with a plan to cut off that linebacker. But also, if you'll remember, one of the things that happens in the zone read, when he comes inside, a lot of people will crash that backside defensive end. If you allow that backside defensive end free reign and the ability to run, and he's an individual that crashes, it becomes possible then for him to run the stretch play down. Two possible answers for that. Number one is still give the quarterback the ability to read the stretch play. If the end wants to chase hard, he has the ability to pull it. If you're going to do that, then basically what you want is the, the tackle to come back and seal that linebacker on a wrap, just like we talked about in the inside zone. The other possibility, if they're trying to run this wrap play here and you simply want to run the stretch, then have that tackle come off as that linebacker's outside. Just have him set in here. And if you go back many years ago, they used to just talk about it as the old butt block. And all that tackle's gonna do is he gets in that hole, he's just gonna kinda set in there, walling that defensive end, basically with his backside, just hold him off so he cannot get into fast pursuit. Here we want that running back stretching that thing for five steps. As he gets five steps, he's going to turn that thing right into the waterfall. It's going to take him right down on that tight end area. If that play is going to continue to stretch, he can just easily continue outside. The greatest danger is, is assuming this play always goes outside. It doesn't. This is still going to be an off-tackle play the majority of time. And so as he starts getting here on that fifth step, he runs that same waterfall as what he did on the inside zone, and he is basically reading that tight end edge.